Goo. Welcome back to another episode on me channel. Last in the last two episodes, in the last episode we ranked the kills in Scream Six, and the episode before, and in the video before that we ranked the characters in Scream Six. Now we are going to be doing the best, the big, the most difficult ranking of them all, and it is the. Season the Scream film is the film ranking. We will be ranking the Scream films from worst to best. Six being the worst Scream film, first being the be best Scream film. So, so let's start. With the worst screen film, and this one is the easiest, and because it's the easiest decision I'm going to make, it's a very small explanation. Uh, screen three, screen three is the work is the weakest of the screen films, and finishes bottom on screen ranking, and that's because it is a. Mm, And that is because, and that's because, and that's because it's completely awful. It's the one of the worst film, one of the worst screen film, one of the, it's the worst screen film because there's nothing redeemable about it. it it's gotten better over the years, but there, but there isn't really anything redeemable about season two. Maybe you could, maybe you. Maybe you could say Sydney, Gale and Dewey, but other than that, nothing we and, and Parker Posey, uh, but other than that, not a good film, and it ranks bottom in my screen tier this one, in my screen ranking of the screen films. Uh, in fifth, it's going to be the, it's going to be its, it's going to be its sequel, and that is, because in fifth place we have Scream 4. It was a worthy, a worthy a good, a good, worthy final entry in the screen franchise for Wes Craven before his passing in 2015. And uh, obviously, 2020 Scream acts as a acts as a um, tribute to Wes Craven. Scream Four acts as you know Wes Craven's last scre last film ever because Scream Five. Four was his was the last film Wes Craven ever directed, so it so Scream Five may have been the tribute to Wes Craven, but Scream Four was you know the best in terms of it, it gave us it reminded us of the it reminded us of the, of the fact that Wes Craven was a great director. But yeah, uh, Scream Four. Like I said, a worthy final entry in the Scream franchise for Wes Craven before his passing in twenty fifteen. It's got some good characters, some really amazing quality kills, especially one that will be, especially one we're going to talk about when we give you the best scene from each screen film. Uh, but yeah, good characters, really good kills, bl bloody gory kills, and an okay film, not the best, but an okay film, and it ranks fifth. Next up in fourth place is going to be the return to form. It's going to be the first film. Direct, it's going to be the first screen film directed by Radio Science. Scream Five. Now, Scream Five, just like how, just like how it took Wes Craven eleven years to release Scream Four after the mess that was Scream Three. It was. It took eleven years for a new Scream film to hit theaters, but it was worth the wait. As Scream Five is a decent film. And it, and it finish, and it only finishes in fourth because the um uh, the 
Only reason, like I said, the only reason why it ranks here in fourth is the fact that the three films above are better, but not by not, not like my the screen the two the three films in third, second, and first aren't you know miles ahead of Scream Five, but are slightly ahead of Scream Five in terms of how good they are. Um, but let's get into the top three. This is ending up to be a very short episode, and that's mainly because for the first three and for these next two, I don't really have much to say about them. Because I don't know why I don't have much to say about them, I just don't. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, um, in third place, it's going to be the first Scream sequel. It is Scream 2. Scream 2 was the best Scream sequel in the franchise, in my opinion, until Scream 6, as you'll see. As you will see. As you'll find out later. And it's the re and it's this plus the original is being so good that that puts it here in third. I keep I keep watching the screen. I'm like I said, I'm watching. So, like I said in the last video, if you what, read the description on my in my first video where I ranked the screen six characters, you will find the reason why there's a sound in the background. Yeah. Um. But yeah, like I said, screen two best screen sequel until screen six. In my opinion, best screen sequel in the franchise, in my opinion, until Scream 6. And it was because of this, plus the fact that the original is so good, that it makes it, gives it the finish in third. Now. The top two is a toss up. The top two, when I when I wrote the script for this video, the top two, the top two, and I mean it, the top two was a toss up. You have Scream, which is the original, and it's amazing, and it's one of the best films in the world, one of the best films of all time. It it reinvented the horror genre. It reignited the fire that was burnt out by the by the board by the bad films in the 90s and 80s it was one of the most impactful horror films when first released but then you have Scream 6 which completely changed the formula of a Scream film, took us to New York City was amazing, had some great characters, had some absolutely brutal kills, some of the brutalist kills of the franchise and despite the fact it's only been out for weeks it's smashing the record for the most money earned in opening it smashed the record for the most money earned on opening night on opening week on opening weekend so it's a toss it's a big it's really a toss up 
I ended up, but I ended up going with this too, just because I felt that one of the films was was overall better. Was also. Miles. If you'll excuse me. No need to thank me. Unless you insist. What are you doing here? Are you three behind this? You know what he has to do. You couldn't sit back and let Nelson marry you. Um, but yeah, it was, like I said, it was a toss-up, but I ended up going controversial. I like Scream, I like Scream 6. I really like Scream 6. I loved it. I think it was amazing. The kills, brutal. The, the characters, great. The setting, amazing. And that is why I put that one first. But let's give it, I'll give, but before we get onto that, I, in second, like I said, as Scream Six, as I was like Scream Six first. Second place is Scream, the original. It's the film that started the whole franchise, and re and like I said, reinvented the horror genre. And it's an amazing film, but I just love Scream Six so much that I have to rank it in first. And the reason why I love, and this is the reason why I love Scream Six so much, the change in setting from Woodsboro to New York City helped this. Helped this film out a lot, made it as it and made it more big scale compared to the other Scream films. Also, Scream Six is my favorite Scream film in the franchise, not because of recency bias, like I assume some people would think, but because of the fact that it was the most suspenseful and bloody gory Scream film in the franchise, with a good pace, great scenes, a decent and decent characters, with a sense of horror in most ghost face in most ghost face appearances, and this includes the brutal kills which there are a few of. It is all these things that make Scream 6 my favourite screen for my favourite film in one of the biggest horror franchises ever with one of the most iconic horror final girls, horror trios and horror antagonists ever with an original film that completely changed the horror genre forever. And that is why and but and Scream 6 is my favourite screen film. It may be controversial, but again, in the end, it's my opinion. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Subscribe to my channel, click the bell, click, catch up on my videos. Until my next video, where we rank the kills. Where we rank, where we rank the ghost face killers. In Scream 1, Scream 2, Scream 3, Scream 4, Scream 5, and Scream 6. That is, that is Billy Loomis, Stu Marker from Scream, Nancy, uh, Mrs. Loomis, and Mickey Altieri from Scream 2, Roman Bridger from Scream 3, Jill Roberts and Charlie Walker from Scream 4, Richie Karsh and Amber Freeman from Scream 5, and, and Quinn Karsh and, and Quinn Karsh and Ethan Karsh from, um, from Scream 6. I didn't include, um, uh, don't know, Rooney's character. Officer Bailey, Officer Bailey, in this, in this, in the ranking of the Ghostface Killers, and that was because I didn't really consider him a Ghostface Killer. I just I considered him the mastermind behind the Ghostface Killings, but not a Ghostface, not one of the Ghostface Killers. But you'll see where I, how I rank those from worst to best next episode. But until then, I'm out. Peace. Bye.